General Ekman oversees joint and coalition operations, intelligence and plans in the fight against the Islamic State. You know, after six years, after liber liberating 110,000 square kilometers and liberating almost 8 million people, um, we've, we've achieved uh, tremendous success across the coalition and across our partners. And so now where Daesh is, is they struggle just to find sanctuary in rural locations. Their leadership, their finances, their logistics, uh, their media are all just shadows of what they used to be. Government area. And also, are you seeing any of them move north uh, into Turkey? Just give us a sense of the lay down and the increasing. You know, one of our signs of success is that Daesh does not and cannot control terrain. And so once you devolve to the point of, that you have a low level insurgency, hiding in the rural areas, in places, in caves and in mountains uh, in this region, you've largely succeeded. And so it's, it's a matter of uh, maintaining them at that level. I think we and our Iraqi partners, as well as the coalition-aligned uh, Syrian forces, have uh, no illusions that Daesh will never be fully eradicated. But within Iraq and Syria, we've reduced their military strength and also their, their military potential immensely. And now what we really rely on is the 77 uh, nations in the global coalition to continue to work on the, the real root of the problem, which is the, the Daesh ideology. Uh, sort through uh, our relationship with Iraq in the future. With the remnants of Daesh that remain, uh, they're largely ineffective. Uh, Daesh has been reduced to a low level insurgency. And so what we do as a coalition is what, what we do working through our uh, partners in Syria is seek them out wherever they seek sanctuary uh, to, uh, to eliminate them. What that has allowed us to do is to reduce our footprint here in Iraq. We're going to do that. As you know, along the eastern border of Syria, there is a bit of a concentration of Daesh still at the low insurgency levels. But what our Syrian Defense Force partners uh, and what coalition forces as a whole remain committed to is rooting them out wherever we find them. And it's been quite successful. Are they applying pressure with these patrols that are, are kind of in these increase in interactions? 